How to perform classical music in seven easy steps. Step one. Spend hours in the practice room memorizing the piece you're going to perform and decide minutes before you go on stage to bring the music out anyways, just in case. This is critical because it will help us screw up later on in the performance. Step two. As you walk onto the stage, try not to pay too much attention to the fact that there is an audience full of people ready to judge your every move. By now, they've sat through eight other performances they also didn't care about, waiting for the performance of whoever they came to see. So you're already on thin ice. Luckily, you'll be completely blinded by the lights on the stage, so you won't really be able to see them that well anyways. Whatever you do, don't start thinking about whether or not your friend's older sister who you like is in the audience. We'll save that thought for directly in the middle of your performance. Step 3. Begin your piece. Ignore the fact that you've put the music on the stand in front of you. Really, just don't look at it. You memorized this for a reason, and so far it's going great, except you suddenly realize that you and this piano do not know each other very well at all. The pedal goes straight to the floor before it works, and two of the notes are sticking. The two notes are only played one time each throughout the entire piece, and both of those instances have passed, but it's important that you not allow your brain to think about anything else. Step 4. You're approaching the climax of the piece, and so obviously you're dedicating your entire thought process to that part, when suddenly you draw a complete blank of what you're supposed to be playing right now. The important part here is that you don't panic. You brought the music up here with you for exactly this reason. Look up at it and realize that you never turned any of the pages because you weren't using them. Now is, in fact, a great time to panic. Also, your friend's older sister is in the audience. Or, or is, that, is that not her? Well, you, you really shouldn't be looking at the audience or thinking about this at all, but priorities aren't exactly your forte. Oh, right, forte. You were in the middle of not knowing where the hell you are. You look down at your hands and you brace for the inevitable train wreck that is about to ensue. Much to your shock, though, that impact never happens. You look down at your hands and they are miraculously doing your job for you. Your heart is pounding through your chest, but somehow your muscle memory has taken over and the audience is none the wiser. This is a great time to tell yourself not to start thinking about how incredible muscle memory is, but that's like telling yourself not to think about purple elephants. For at least four bars, contemplate why the saying is about purple elephants while you envision a purple elephant in various positions on the stage and in the audience. Step 5. Once you've stopped thinking about purple elephants and how hard that is to say, you suddenly realize that you have the most important part of the piece coming up. Your music is of no use to you, and if you try to turn the pages to get to where you are, you will somehow launch the music into the audience and give somebody's grandma a nasty paper cut. Ah! You're on your own from here. But something in your brain just happens to click back into place, and you suddenly know exactly where you are again. You and your hands negotiate the rest of the piece with ease, except you'll completely botch at least one note near the very end, usually something incredibly easy that you have never messed up in your life. Step 6. You did it! You actually did it! It wasn't perfect, but the audience either didn't notice or didn't care, and they erupt in thunderous applause. You awkwardly stand by the piano, not knowing how many bows to take, before you turn and walk off the stage, your knees barely holding you up in a mixture of relief and excitement, but mostly relief. You walk up to your teacher, and they congratulate you on a job well done, only they ask, what happened to bars 115 through 167? Realize then that you dropped an entire section of the piece while you were contemplating Purple Elfalance, unless you were performing Scott Joplin, in which case you played the second section four times instead of two. Step 7. Don't care, because no one else did, and you've had enough adrenaline for one day, or three weeks. Head back into the practice room and waste just enough time that you'll have to cram for the last three days before doing it all over again.